We have an update now to breaking news we brought you yesterday from inside the Toledo Jeep plant. A coroner has ruled 53 year old Antonio Gaston died from crushing injuries due to an incident while on the job yesterday. Silver Barker spoke to a friend and coworker of Gaston today. Silver, he says that this man lit up the room when he walked in. That's right. True Parham said his friend had one of the brightest smiles in their workforce every day. He says Gaston left his family back home to transfer to this plant in 2021 from Belvedere. Gaston was working on the Jeep Gladiator line, according to its Lido police report released Thursday. He got caught under a vehicle moving on the assembly line and died. Parham tells me Gaston's wife was in town this week visiting, and now as the family grieves their loved one, Parham says he is doing whatever he can to help them in the community get through this, including setting up a GoFundMe page. Hey, I had a gentleman today stop me who didn't even know him. He just saw him in passing every day. He said, you, you, if you saw him, you'd never think he ever had a bad day through everything he's ever been through his life. He still kept a smile on his face, and I hope that uh, his memory keeps a smile on the faces of not only our membership, but his family as well. Now, Parham tells me they're also planning to gather on Monday to release Sky Lanterns at 3.30 p.m. at the plant. Reporting in North Toledo, Silver Barker, WTOL 11. An Antonio Gaston, tragic accident last uh, yesterday. He lost his life, originally from this local. Gaston's death is being felt far beyond Northwest Ohio. It was discussed today during a UAW rally at the Illinois Union Hall where Gaston used to call home. Dan Cummins joins us now live with the news. Dan. We learned today that Gaston worked at the Belvedere facility that was idled last February. Now today the UAW held a rally in Belvedere following news that Stellantis may delay the reopening of the plant. Well, during that rally, UAW President Sean Fain talked about Gaston saying his death didn't have to happen. Tonight, I had a heavy heart when I went to bed. And I woke up today and I was mad as hell. I'm sick and tired of watching our members get sacrificed at the altar of corporate greed. Had to follow his job to uh, Toledo Local 12. You know, chasing his American dream to stay working until this place got back up and going. You know, the, the, the fight we're doing here to try to reopen this, to get these people back home, all I, all I thought about last night was, this wouldn't have happened if he was here. Now back here in Toledo, the Toledo Firefighters Union showed its support for Local 12. The union updated its marquee sign outside its downtown Toledo headquarters to say, rest in heaven, Brother Gaston. It's important to note that Stellantis tells us they have been in touch with Gaston's family and the incident remains under investigation. Reporting live, Dan Cummins, WTOL 11.